Bob Penn Miller commits to Ohio State. Let's check it out. Local Ohio kid Bod Penn Miller has committed to Ohio State, and I know the name is kind of weird to figure out. I've heard some people say Bod Penn. I've heard some people say Bod Pegan and Penn and Pegnin and whatever it is. So uh, Berm says he likes to be called uh, BP. So let's just go ahead and call him BP if that's what he likes to be called. Let's uh, let's do the simple thing. BP Miller, whatever it is, doesn't matter. This kid is an absolute freak show and a welcome addition to the Ohio State wide receiver class. Now, Ohio State didn't have much competition for this kid. You were going up against schools like Boston College, Northwestern, like half of the MAC, half of the Ivy League. Um, I mean, it's a pretty simple choice when you're only an hour down the road from Columbus, Ohio, and you have the opportunity to go to Ohio State. You have the opportunity to be coached by Brian Hartline, the best wide receiver coach in all of college football. You're obviously going to pounce at that opportunity. So, Obviously, BP did pounce at that opportunity. He is in the 2025 class. He's an athlete. And I know what you're thinking. JR, does this mean the wide receiver class is full? No, I don't think so. I actually don't even know if he really impacts the class. He's such a, I don't want to say a project or developmental, but he kind of is. I mean, he, he plays quarterback in high school. He's never really played wide receiver, so it's going to take him at least three or four years to kind of figure out the position. Um, but at the end of the day, this kid is freaky fast, uh, super long. He has uh, crazy athleticism to be able to cut and get away from guys. So, I mean, it's just a fantastic addition. He is actually from Ontario High School in Mansfield, Ohio. Now, you're probably like, JR, I don't know very much about Ontario High School. Well, don't worry. I looked up all the information for you. So Ontario High School has about 500 students, uh, just a little bit over 250 males, a little bit over 250 females. So that does, you know, determine the classification for their sports. Um, I think this year they're set to graduate in BP's class 100 kids, if that information is correct. From what I gathered online, and it is a Division Four school. You're looking at the division that has like Bishop Reedy, uh, Jonathan Alder, if you're familiar with those. I know Jonathan Alder pretty well because uh, I went to Fairbanks High School in Milford Center right outside of Marysville, Marysville, Ohio. And I'll be honest, like this one kind of hits home for me because – this is the type of kid who goes and camps at Ohio State, gets an offer, and he's going to come back to his hometown. And this is going to be a hometown where kids like from this high school do not get, normally get these kind of opportunities to go play at Ohio State. Maybe they'll move on to some Mac schools and something like that. I mean, I remember from Fairbanks, like we had some kids who went to uh, Kent State. We had, I think, a kid who went to Akron at one point. And so like that was cool but never to Ohio State. I think somebody maybe walked on at Ohio State, so that was a pretty big deal. Uh, but that was like years before I was in high school there, and so obviously, you know, then recruiting and things like that, a little bit different. But anyway, so this is a huge deal, obviously, for them and for, the, you know, BP and his family to be able to make it to Ohio State, to be able to have the athleticism for that. I mean, he's not even like highly rated either. I mean, this kid Kid comes in as an athlete on 24-7. They have him as the 105th athlete. I mean, he's not even in the top 100 of his position. He's barely in the top 50 of players in Ohio, 49. I mean, this is going to be one of those kids that we look back and I'm like scrolling the Ohio class on 24-7. Like, where is this kid? Where is this kid? <laughs> because sometimes I do that and I count how many Ohio kids. So I'm going to have to remember BP, but hopefully he gets rated a little bit higher, so I don't have to remember to scroll all the way down to to fifty on the uh, uh, on the Ohio class there every year. But I mean, this kid he's six four, hundred and eighty pounds, and I'm gonna put the film on here in a minute. I did a film kind of. Uh, I don't even want to call it an analysis because it's him playing quarterback, and that's really hard to analyze uh, what he could do at wide receiver that way. Uh, but just me watching some film of his or his huddle tape of what he can do, 
Uh, I'll play that for you here in just a minute. But you can tell this guy has tremendous that tremendous athleticism. He has a knack and an ability to just get away from defenders, to cut, and to just – I mean, he even lowers his shoulder a few times. I mean, his knack and his ability to get away from guys and then just boom, go, it's it's outstanding. Um, and if he can really turn that into his route running and really refine that, uh, that's going to be a fantastic – fantastic thing for him he only started camping as a wide receiver in the spring so i think what that's like three or four months at this point that he's been camping as a wide receiver um i mean that's that's pretty incredible to say the least that he's been able to do that when he went and camped at ohio state he clocked in at 22 miles per hour that's fantastic that's crazy for a guy no he's not the he's not the you know heaviest guy in the world so but for a guy who's 6'4 with that kind of stride that kind of ability uh he's definitely going to be able to translate uh get into the weight room put on some more muscle things like that it's gonna be fantastic uh the story that i love is that after he camped at ohio state brian hartline saw what he could do saw him run the 22 brought him back for seven on seven at ohio state put him on the house team and then that was the moment when he offered him. I think Berm said that it was like after some kind of like diving catch or something like that. Brian Hartline pulled him aside right away and was like, yeah, come here. You're, you're getting an offer. Uh, and that's just that's fantastic. He shows any kind of ability to play wide receiver at all. And Brian Hartline is going to look at this kid and say, uh, yeah, we're going to bring you on. It's not really going to impact anything with the current guys. It's going to be really good for them. So uh, let's go ahead and look at a little bit of his huddle tape here. Like I said, this is from, I think, a few days ago. But uh, let's watch it, and then I'll be right back after that. Here we go. All right. So, yep, that's the throw. That was pretty nice throw. A lot of air under that one. Here we go. The shiftiness in the open field. Yeah, look at that burst. You got to he kind of just chucks those deep balls way up there. Gets so much air under him. There he is, running out of the pocket. Man, he's just running around out there. And nobody, nobody can catch him. He's not a bad passer. I mean, you know, you like a little bit more on a rope. But, man, yeah, he's shifty. Oh, that was that one was more on a rope. Yeah, they're rolling him out every time because they know his feet. He is so dangerous. Man, fast. He is so fast. There he is. Everybody's all over him. Oh, lowered the shoulder too. I wonder if this is the offense. <laughs> just everybody go full verts, and then if there's nothing there, yep, just run. <laughs> I can't say it's a bad offense. I mean, when he is able to run like that, uh, bot. If you guys want to look him up, bod pin. Uh, the name is in the description. Don't mix up the G and the E. People have done that. Uh, make sure you. Uh, you type it in right. I think I saw an article on 24-7 had the name mixed up, but I couldn't find him for the longest time. So then I was questioning myself for a little bit. Man, he is fast. Then I was questioning myself for a little bit. Like, okay, is he? <laughs> How do you spell his name the right way? Whoop. I feel like I'm that uh, ESPN guy. Whoop. Man. Shifty, too. Throwing off his back foot there. He's going to have to learn to hold on to the ball a little bit better. But, I mean, that's how quarterbacks run with it. It is what it is. Man, he got that edge. Hold on. Rewind this. Okay. All right. Hold on. I have to check this out. 
All right, so we're right here. I mean, one, two, three, four. Four guys all right there. He gets himself to here. These guys, I mean, granted, this guy's covering that guy, but still, this kid, like, he's just going to hit that corner and go, and he just goes untouched. Like, that's just ridiculous, man. You can see why this kid clocked in at 22 miles per hour. It's like once he decides to run, you're just, you're done. You're cooked. Yep. Similar thing there. All right, so that is Bodpin BP Miller for you. Uh, very excited to have him a part of the Ohio State 2025 recruiting class. Um, you know, this is going to be one of those guys. He probably brings the average down a little bit, and so you might see Ohio State take a little bit of a hit there. But at the end of the day, I mean, this is what Ohio State is doing now. This is what we've been asking for lately, right? You know, bigger classes, bringing some more guys, and I mean – not just going out and taking random guys nationally, but go take the Ohio kids, bring them in and give them an opportunity. They've known Ohio State all their lives. They've rooted for Ohio State most likely all their lives. So, I mean, bring them in, let them have their shot, see what they can do. And who knows, maybe, you know, BP will make some spectacular catch someday. Maybe BP will turn into a running back and, you know, make the game winning. Run. I have no idea, but who knows? This is just really, really cool. Who knows what this will do for his hometown, uh, Ontario, his high school. I think it's actually in Ontario, the town as well, which is a smaller part of Mansfield, but uh, just a really, really cool story. This is the kind of stuff that you love to, to hear about. And I'm really glad that Ryan Day uh, took, uh, well, Brian Hartline offered him and took his commitment as well. So thank you so much for watching. Appreciate it. Please do like and subscribe. We appreciate that as well. Have a good one.